Hey guys, it's Janet. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a winter haul and a pack with me video. My husband is taking me on a little getaway to Colorado for a few days and I'm super excited. So I thought I'd share a couple things that I bought for the trip and then how I actually packed. First, let's get started with what I purchased. So I live in Texas. It is a very warm here. Today it was probably like 70 degrees and we just don't have cold weather here. Um, so I had to buy a lot of stuff to kind of endure the freezing weather of, we're gonna be in Denver, which is actually a lot warmer um, or similar weather to Austin, but then we're also gonna be in Breckenridge and I looked at it and it's a, like seven degrees, feels like negative seven. So it's gonna be really chilly. So your girl did some shopping. So the first thing I'm gonna share is this hat. Um, actually, my husband bought me this hat and I love it so much. I just took the tag off of it. This is focusing. It's uh, by Free People. It was, I think it was like $50. It's a little pricey, definitely an investment hat. Um, but like I said, my husband bought it for me and I love it so much. So, I mean, just look at that pom-pom and it's so soft. The color is gorgeous. I love it so much. I didn't wash my hair today. I love hats cause you don't have to wash your hair. I then purchased a hat for myself at a reasonable price because I think that uh, my husband's more like quality over quantity, but I think sometimes you can get something that looks just as cute, but for a lot less. So just for an example, I got this hat at H&M and I love the neutral color um, because my co one of my coats is like really colorful and this one was only $12.99 and it's not as like luxurious as this Free People one, but I still think that it's really cute. So, let me see. Yeah. I mean, still super cute for like $13, right? The next thing I got were a couple of scarves. I love scarves. I had gone like really scarf crazy for a while there, but I've toned it way down. I'm only gonna take like probably two or three scarves. Um, and the new ones are, I got this one. It's just like really furry and cute. And I got it to match the hat that I'm wearing. It's from the store Icing and it was really inexpensive. Um, I know it was on sale, I think it was like 12, $12 or something, I don't know. But I just like it so much. I think it's super cute and I'll wear it under like my really big coat. Um, I'll definitely, probably by the time I get to edit this video, I'll have like photos to insert of me wearing this because I am going to have to edit this video when I get back from the trip because I'm leaving like literally tomorrow. Um, but anyway, the scarf is super gorgeous. I also ordered one on Amazon. It hasn't gotten here yet. It's supposed to get here like today. So I'm waiting for it, but I'll insert a picture of it. It's pink, black, and white, which goes with my color scheme. So when I'm planning trips, I usually pick, like I said, a few colors and just go with everything kind of matching that. Okay, the next thing you need uh, for cold weather is snow pants, so, or pants. Um, I am gonna take some regular blue jeans for sure. And I actually got, I'm gonna show you two different pants that I got. I got these like, um, what are they called? Snow Angel. They're basically like, I guess, thermal underwear. Um, this is what they look like. Um, I mean, the store that I shop at here, I'll link it below. It's called St. Bernard and they have beautiful things. Um, so these pants are really thin and they're just gonna go under my blue jeans. They're like a layering pant and they were at like $55. So it's kind of expensive actually, but I'm just gonna keep re-wearing them. Okay, the next item I'm super excited about. Um, I went to Denver. I, I've been to Colorado before to Breckenridge and I had to rent like snow pants and they're just not that flattering to be honest, they're like, I don't know, Ugh, they're not cute at all. Um, but my goal was to find some really cute ones and I did. Um, these are by the brand Burton, which I don't know anything about like ski clothes or brands or anything. I just got like, the, I just took like three or four different ones that I found in the store and tried them all on. I did find that they're very expensive. Some of them were like $400, so I didn't even try those on. I was like, no way. But when I saw they were $400 and then the ones I got, I thought I was getting a deal, but they're still really expensive, like 
I think. But they're these. And um, I'll insert a picture of me wearing them because like I said, I'll probably have photos of me wearing them by this time. Um, the reason I love them so much is one, they were super comfortable. The fit was perfect. They weren't like cutting me anywhere. And right now I'm still fluffy. So definitely comfortable. And the best part is the like skinny leg of them. So most no pants are just like, like they look like belt bottoms. And my boots are so cute. I wanted pants that I could literally put my pant inside um, because my boots are so cute. And I'm like, hello, I wanna show my boots off. The price on these were 169, like I said, kind of expensive. I'll link them below for you. And then there was another option that are actually like legging snow pants. Um, and they didn't have my size, but I'll, I'll link those below too because I really wanted those, but they didn't have my size. So I had to settle for these, which is totally fine. They're still super cute. The next items I'm gonna talk about are boots. So when I go on a trip, I try to only pack like three shoes, maybe four. Um, especially when you're going to cold climates, like I have to take a, f like I think I'm gonna take two suitcases. I don't know, it's just so much stuff that I have to pack. So um, everything's really heavy and bulky. So I don't wanna take like so many shoes, but I did buy a pair of boots that I'm super excited to share with you guys and they're so cute. So I bought these little cute Spearies. And honestly, I think these are really rain boots, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna use them in Denver where it's a little warmer. And if it's like rainy or anything, my feet won't get, um, wet and I love the length of them like they're just like little cute kind of like hiking boots but I love the color very neutral they'll go with the hat that um that I bought that I showed you so these go together really cute I could put like a really bright red hat um, I actually have like a hot pink coat so I thought a neutral shoe would look really good with them I did want to share the best snow boot I think, well, that I own. I only own one pair, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but I think they're so cute and these are it. They're by Sorel and they're these are actually old. They're not new, but they still sell like very similar ones. I got them when I was in Breckenridge last time and that is why I wanted my snow pants to like go inside my boots so I could show like my cute boots with the fur you know, boots with the fur. Um, so I'll be wearing these. I do have other boots lined up and when I'm like actually packing, I'll show them to you. I'm thinking of taking um, maybe one other boot, an Ugg boot and that's pretty much it. And maybe my slippers like to be walking around in my room because if I'm cold at all, I'll be miserable. So I'm packing a lot of warm clothes, like even warm pajamas. Like I mentioned, I like to be warm. So I have this like really super warm onesie that I'll be wearing um, around like the hotel, my hotel room or whatever. I don't know if I can walk around the hotel in a onesie, but I mean, I totally would. I'm not like opposed to it. So it's this one and Sean and I got matching ones, which Hopefully I have like a photo of us and I made him take one, but we'll see if, if I get one. Um, it's by Tipsy Elf and they're just like, it's the cutest onesie. Um, actually we all got one, Callie got one too, but I'm packing out on my trip so I can be really warm in the room. And sometimes what I end up doing is wearing my normal pajamas, like my little t-shirt and shorts and then just putting this on top. And then when I go to bed, I just take this off. So I guess it's kind of like a robe at some point. The next things I'm gonna share with you are very basic staples. You don't have to be going to a super cold climate to get this stuff, but I just thought I'd share them with you because they're new. I got a couple of sweaters, got two at Loft. I'll link them below for you guys so you can kind of see them better. If I have photos, I'll insert them for you. But um, I bought this one at Loft and it's like really long, a super long tunic style. Um, and then I bought this one at Loft as well. So this one is just like a really cream, creamy color. I feel like I would wear this one maybe with my like pink boots. I have these also hot pink Uggs that I love so much that I wear. So I might would wear that with something like this. Like what I end up doing is having a really neutral color and then like a bright color. I love that combo 
color combo. And then the last couple of things I bought um, that every girl needs is warm socks. I did splurge on these like UGG ones. And to be honest, like they are really, really super soft, but the ones that I bought at Target for like $4 are pretty much just as soft. So um, I just bought a bunch of really cute and warm socks. I think that's everything new that I bought for the trip. So now what we're gonna do is kind of like, I'm gonna show you how I kind of laid all out. Um, and my outfits are already like made and then I just start packing it all together. Okay, I thought I was done showing you everything. I wanna show you my two coats because I think that they're definitely winter essentials. Even though they're not new, I think they're really cute and they're similar styles that you can look for. So I love like one really bright coat and this one is from J. Crew. I got it last year so it's older but they make this coat every year they don't have this color this year but they do have a red one that's like just as cute and this coat will be more for like denver and the cool you know when it's not as cold and i love that coat i wear this coat in austin all the time and then i got this winter coat last year in chicago which is like a real winter coat and i love the length of it and the like fur, and I'll insert a picture of me wearing it cause it's so cute. But I love the detail where it has like these little rose gold buttons on there. And this coat will be for Breckenridge where it's like really cold. So every, I just feel like when you're going to extreme temperatures, you definitely have to have the right coat. So I wanted to share those with you guys. Okay, let's get packed. Okay, this is the mess of packing, but this is this is my method. And I pulled out my two suitcases. These are new. They're from the brand Away, I think is what it's called. I love them because one, they're pink, and two, they have lifetime warranties. Um, I also have this Louis Vuitton carry-on bag. So I'm not sure, I usually take that bag and a suitcase, but I might just take my two pink suitcases. We'll see what happens. Um, this is how I pack. I put all the shoes that I'm thinking about taking and I probably won't take them all to be honest, but here's like the gloves and I have some other gloves, but I think I've already put them away. All my socks, all my pants situations that I'm taking. Uh, actually, I have a pair of blue jeans in the laundry right now. And then these are all my sweaters all over here. <laughs> and then all my hat options. I have little tank tops. Oh, here's my other gloves. Okay, so these go over there. Um, uh, a bra randomly there for some reason. And of course, I have more underclothes. It's all in the laundry. Uh, the other thing that I do is we always leave at like the earliest flight possible. So I lay out my outfit that I'm going to wear to the airport. So I'm thinking of wearing this top with this coat and these boots. Here's my other coat. Oh, this is the scarf I was telling you guys about in the video. It just got here from Amazon and it's, I mean, it's cute, but it's definitely not warm enough for Breckenridge, so I'm probably not gonna take it. Maybe I'll buy one when I'm there. I'm sure they're gonna have like adorable little stores to shop at, but I'm gonna put everything in my suitcase. I'm all packed, ready to go on my vacation. I went with a bigger suitcase, fit everything in there. Actually, I used some of Sean's suitcase, so I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then, I also am taking my carry-on, which just has like a blanket and tissues and things like that that I need for the plane. And just in case I go shopping, I can fill it up too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.